Hello everybody, I'm Scotty. Welcome back to Scotty's Clock World. This is a Black Forest Cuckoo Clock, made in South Germany of course. It has a 30 hour movement in it, which means it has to be wound every day. Nice dark wood. I like that, the, the pale walnut colour mm, doesn't quite do it for me, but this is nice and dark. That's a change rolled up there. Put that down for a moment. That's the top up. In pretty good shape, except that just the tip of the beak there has been rubbed or broken off. I'll smooth that down. The same as that last little bit on the on its wing there. I'll smooth them down and restain them before they go back on the clock. That's the pendulum, the original one. And these are the weights. Interestingly enough, they weigh 445 grams and a 30 hour movement clock usually takes 275 grams. So we'll have to investigate that when we get further into the clock. You'll notice these are, are quite old weights. You can tell that by the fact they haven't got the weight stamped on them, like modern weights. We'll count the number of links on the chain later on. It should be 61 links per foot for a 30 day movement. So we'll count that and see what that is, if that's correct or not. They're the hooks that hold the topper on. Undo the latch at the back. Move the back door. There's the gong. Put that aside. And there's the movement. It's definitely a 30 hour movement. You can see there's only three wheels on the drive side there. An older movement. 1950s or a bit prior to that. There's the count wheel. That bellows pretty loose at the back there. We'll have to repaper those. And the high notes, not make a note. And the low note is sort of about a bit, but not much. A little bit of rust on the levers. The hammer seems to be all right. Right, well, we'll start to take this to pieces. Lie that down. First thing we'll do is we'll remove the hands. Undo that knurl nut there. Take that off. Then there's a washer underneath that. Put my fingernails, actually, yeah, that should just I think that that is screwed down. I'll check that out. Yes, it is. All right. We remove that, take that off, put it aside with the rest of the hand pieces. That's the minute hand that comes off. Now the hour hand, held on by friction, I'll put my fingernails under it and just lift it up. There it is, it's come off. All right, that looks all right. Put them aside. Turn the movement over. Now, the next thing we do is we remove the bellows. Screwdriver. Slide the screwdriver in, twist it round. Take the screw out. Put it in the dish so we don't lose it. Lay the clock down. And there'll be a small tack in there that holds the bellows in place. But before we do that, we're going to undo the wire link that goes down to the bottom of the bellows there. The bellow lift lever. 
I'll move that aside and see if I can get a, a bit tight. Put a screwdriver in it. That undid it. And now carefully slide a screwdriver down the side of the bellows. The high note and lift it off. Not making a note. I think it might need a bit more weight on the top of it. It might actually work. All right, we'll put that aside now. Actually, first up, I'll open up the lever that goes up to the bellows and the lift lever down there. Now, undo this screw. It's a new one, it's not original, but we'll undo it anyway. Take it out, lower the movement down again, and then very carefully, the screwdriver will slip it underneath. And then, a few tweezers might help. You lift. Actually, it'll be easier, I think. Yep. To take it off the bellows there, and then to remove that lift wire from inside. Right, well I'll leave that there for the moment. Wait till we take the movement out. This is a low note of the bellows. This one's loose at the back. You can see the pretty decent size hole in there, so they'll have to be redone. This piece of wire here is the wire that lifts the back of the, the little bird. So it bobs its head up and down. And now we're about ready to take the movement out, but before we do, we'll take the chains out. First up, I'll take the hooks off that the weights are attached to. It'll make it a lot easier to be able to pull the chains through. Because these are very tight on the case. I'll open this link up. Mind you, it's not very easy, but I will certainly do it. We'll get another pair of pliers and with serrated jaws to get a hold on the link because it's slipping out of the other pliers. Then with the smooth jawed pliers, I'll bend the link up. That way, I can remove the hook. That's the first one. Now the second one, then two pairs of pliers, serrated one on the left to hold the link tightly, and bend the other one back. You can then slide the hook out, and then return the link to its original position. Now we should be able to pull the chain through, Easily enough, and there we go. Chains are gone. Put them aside. Now we're going to take the movement out of the case. Tiny little screws, really small ones. They're very small screws. I suppose it's a light movement, so it doesn't need heavy screws. See if we can collect it with our magnet. Not quite. Oh, it needs a little bit more. It should be right this time. Hmm, not so. Alright, we'll try these locking scissors, see what we got. Well, I would have thought that that had come out completely. Obviously it hasn't. On to the next one. They are tiny little screws. Virtually impossible to see way down there. The slots in those need to be redone before they go in. Yeah, they're really poor quality. I'll see if I can get that out, but we'll definitely go over the slots. Right, what do we got up here in the top part? See what we got. 
another two tiny little screws and that looks like fun all right off we go you'd reckon that should be out it's only a tiny little screw i think it's going to stay in there for the moment though all right we'll take the other side out well that's loosened all the screws finally now we can take the movement out make sure we don't get the Pendulum leader caught. Oh, not good. I forgot to take the hook off the little bird on the front door. All right, I've remedied that situation. Now we can take the movement out. Careful of the pendulum leader. Remove the case. there's the movement at the back of it the count wheel the lift levers for the bellows there and there i'll remove that get that out of the road thank you the pendulum leader the bird rod there's our little bird. Turn it over to the front. And there we have it. That's the front of the movement. And of course the front of our little bird. How cool is that? Alright, let's start to take the movement to pieces.